two in the morning. Rest is getting harder. Hello, welcome. Devil Sniper here. And today I'm bringing you the Colchester United career mode. All we're going to do today is play the game against Chelsea, have a look at the squad report, and uh, that'll be it for this episode. Because some of the episodes have been massively long, which I apologise for, but they are live. It's the way I edit them. It is it is what it is at this moment in time. But we'll have a quick look at the squad report, see how the boys are doing, have a look at our youth players, which those Germans have really got me intrigued. And Rosie is top goal scorer in the BPL, which is fantastic. Hasn't been playing well of late, though. Then again, I haven't been playing well of late. Anyway, squad report time. So I'm not going to take my time with this one. I'm just going to get through it straight away. So we'll just have a good flick through. So start off with Mansa. Looking sexy. Winter, Nelson, Navas. Pretty beastly to say the least. Reader, pretty beastly to say the least. Cookie, pretty beastly. AJ, pretty beastly. Massey, a god. Aldair, a pain in the actual back doors. Schmodix, a god. 71 rated now is absolutely brilliant. Cole, annoying the living crap out of me. Goal return, 5 and 26 is just not good enough. Longy, an absolute tank. I can't believe he's 78 rated already. Annabal, quality. Do you know what? He's got to be pushing for a place over Coley. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Gilby, absolute tank and an absolute legend. 4 and 28. He's, he's just brilliant. He's so, so good. Shalabert. Fantastic stats, but frustrates me a little bit. Butland, mm, not the greatest start to his uh, career at Colby, to say the least. Benedetti, oh, amazing, absolutely amazing. Jordan Rhodes, the man is a god. 13 in 23, an absolute goal scoring machine. Balassi, still got to settle in. Might have to adapt the formation to probably fit him in. It doesn't seem like he plays that well in Cam. Might stick him in a left mid roll or a left wing roll, something like that. I don't know yet, but we've got to do something. Malumba, not really interested in. Arnos, not really interested in. Pablo, you know, these are players all going. Lapsy, loan, unless his contract's about to run out. Mingzi, sublime, really like him. Dre Wright, too injury prone. I wish he wasn't injury prone. Gabs, legend, starting to decrease. He's only 31, uh, 6 in 22. To be fair, he hasn't got the greatest stroke rate, but at least he creates eight chances or eight assists he's created in 22 games as well. So when you actually work it out, his goals and assists together is far better than Coley. Plus it's Gabs, so um, yeah, it's pretty much default. He's never leaving. Lachelles, I really like Lachelles. I really, really do like Jamal Lachelles' his quality. Uh, Moncur, absolute tank. He's done so well. When you consider some of the players that we could have probably bought and put in that position, for him still to be there... I'm so, so chuffed. He's such a good little player. Eastman, this season, sort of end of last season, didn't really get a good, big enough chance. Injury didn't help him in the start of season three, but he played a few games. Then I had to bring in Cooper because of uh, the lack of pace Eastman was offering and the games I had coming up. And this season in the Premier League, he just hasn't had an opportunity, which is a shame. And I, you know, I know that I've made that error, but I've got to pick the best team for, for both sides, to be honest. Cooper, Quality, quality centre-back. He's well worth picking up if you have to uh, the cash. Chester, um, I bought him because he was a free transfer and I haven't really used him, which is a great shame because he's actually a decent defender, but Benedetti, Lachauls, um far superior. Sanchez out on loan. Walker, as we know, out on loan. Frankie out on loan. Pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that side. I'm going to mix it up for the next game, uh, sort the team out, and then we'll get into the match. So with the way we're playing... We're now taking on Chelsea, which is fantastic. This could be an absolute drubbing for me. Change the team a little bit. It's legendary. It's four minutes, and it's absolutely pissing it down at the Western Homes Stadium, which is brilliant. After this game, we might have a quick look at the league table and also top goal scorers and assists and all that sort of goodness, just to see how the Cole U boys are doing. As we know, Rosie is leading goal scorer in the league, which is quite nice. But without further ado, time for an absolute battering. Question is, who's going to get battered? And it is my worst fears. It is absolutely hammering it down. Look at that rain on the screen. Oh, my days. It is raining proper hard. Typical goodness of Essex. League table, Chelsea in second place. They need a win today, and they need to score goals to go top on goal difference. Level points won't do them any favours. We are starting to really drop off, which, you know, I said in the early episodes, I start off so, so, so well, and then I drop off. It's just something that seems to happen. I don't know if it's psychological or not. It's happened in other career modes, like my Juventus career mode. Second part of the season, I'm starting to drop off. But with my other Cole United career mode, I'm in the championship, but I'm picking up form, and I'm really, put, you know, applying pressure for the uh, for the title, which is something completely new to me. Um... 
It just seems to constantly happen. I just seem to drop off. I don't know why. Anyway, the team, Mansa, Long, the Shells, Benedetti, Ming, Shalaba, Ga uh, Gilby, Balassi, Moncur, Gabs, Rhodes on the bench, Butland, Cole, Nelson, Annabelle, AGA, Smodix, and Massey. And you will probably have not noticed that. I don't think it shows it very well on the picture. But the Balassi is, or our Balassi, is playing at left mid. I've adapted that formation slightly and put him in at left mid. Fuck, they've got Valerero. He's a quality player. He's absolute beast at Fiorentina in real life. I really do like the geezer, to be honest. I think he's a freaking immense ball player. That's a tough, tough team to be going up against. Shalaba has also swapped around with Gilby, so he'll be playing the CDM role. Anyway, let's get on with it. Let's go and pick up three points and smash the living crap out of Chelsea. So normal possession and attacking. Let's do this, boys. Come on. We've had some proper crap games. Let's go and pick up three points. Let's go and score some goals against the Chelsea. Hopefully not concede a sloppy goal to Cahill in the last few moments. Right, let's get Balassi. Come on, Shalaba. That's a simple pass into bloody Balassi. Why is this game doing this to me? Simple fucking passes are just not going where they're supposed to. Fuck off, Chelsea, you fuckers. Oh, my God. Fucking simple passes. Simple fucking passes. Oh, I committed too early there. My own fault. Just getting really annoyed with myself. Chelsea have another opportunity. Don't hit the post. Jesus Christ. I'm being torn to bits. I need to understand that I'm playing bad at the same time, which doesn't help any situation. And I've just let him step inside me. John, John, John. I knew he was going to bloody do it. I even knew that. Oh, my God. Come on, Jordan. Oh, how fucking deep a Chelsea park the bus, you... Oh, my God. 1-0 up. They commit minimal men forward, and they park the bus. Spread it. Oh, my... <laughs> Thank God the half-time whistle's gone, because Lachelle's just walked into the ball purposely while I'm controlling someone else. Fantastic. Love it. Absolutely love it. The bitter one, nil, Chelsea won. I didn't bother making any substitutions, didn't feel like I needed to. I'm going to see how Chelsea start off the second half. They keep dropping that deep. I'm just going to go all out attack and say, do you know what, fuck it. We actually have nothing to lose. I've just got to avoid relegation. But if I can nick a point off Chelsea for them playing so negatively after scoring, then I'll be quite happy. But we'll see how they're doing come out 55th, 60th minute. Oh my God, how deep are they? Oh, do you know what? Just have a shot, man. <sighs> I'm going to go all out attack. Stuff it. 55th minute. I'll make some substitutions in a little while, but they're dropping so deep. I want numbers forward. His pace at this moment in time could be really devastating. Oh, do you know what? That's a beautiful ball. Come on, Jamal. Renowned for his crossing. Do you know what? That's a fucking good cross. Oh, hit it. No. Right, Balassi, this is your moment. You've got to deliver for me, son. Deflected. Not really helpful. Played Moncur. Look at Gabs. Oh, that's a great ball, Gabs! Yes! Come on! Serves you right, Chelsea. That serves you right. And that's what I think of you. I didn't do the drop dead. He just slid on his knees. <laughs> that's a complete foul. Get in there. <sighs> what a pass. That's an absolute defence splitter. Can't believe it was so good. What a strike from Gabs. Courtois looked like he thought I was going to go across him, but I didn't. I went for that near post. Oh, Jordan's done it. Didn't get into Gabs. Oh, my God, Gabs. It's all set up for you now, son. It really is. Come on, Gabs. Oh! I went for the cheeky. I went for the cheeky. Oh, I was stretching. Damn it. Play the ball through. Jamal the shells of all people. Ugh. Chelsea panicking. They're panicking. Come on, this is it. This is it. This is it. Oh, fuck off, ref. Oh, game finishes 1-1. Going all out of tech against Chelsea. Done me the world of good, but... I'll take a 1-1. Especially with those statistics. They dominated possession, passing. But we had more shots and on target. Ah, uh, 1-1 anyway. Got to accept it. Got to accept it.
Oh, I don't want to talk to you, Coley, at this moment in time. Right, we're going to go to the season. We're going to have a quick look at the calendar, what we've got coming up. So next episode, which will be episode 23, I think, it's going to be Newcastle Palace. Episode 24 will be Tottenham against West Ham. Damn. Uh, episode 25 is going to be West Brom United. 26, oh my God, 27. It's going to be 27 episodes. Right, I might have to condense that a little bit more. I might have to sim a game. Yeah, I might have to sim a game. Sim a game or two because I want to get this down to about 26, 25 episodes because I want to do a second season and uh, I know time's running out physically for me to get a whole season out. We have dropped down in the table to 7th position which is still not very realistic. We should be very near the bottom but we're not. We've been playing well. We have lost 6 games. We have drew 12 so we're resilient. You know, Those 12 could have been losses or at least half of them could have been losses and that could have been 12 losses which would have pushed us down to sort of 12th, 13th in the table. So I'm quite happy where we are at this moment in time to be honest. I will take that all day long. Spurs, 5 points clear of Chelsea. That draw didn't really do Chelsea any favours. Let's have a quick look at the statistics. Player stats. Leading goal scorer is Rhodes with 12. Enna Valencia at Newcastle on 12. Waza on 10. Nasri on 10. Really? Dumbia on 10. That's quite impressive. And Ch Oscar, Chelsea on 9. Didn't see him playing that last game. Interesting. Onzi from West Ham on 8. That's interesting. Uh, no, we'll be looking at goal scores for the FA Cup. Assist wise, when it decides to change over, there we go. Onzi with 8. Fucking hell, he's a bit of an all round player. Gabs with 7. Get in there, Gabs. Cole with 5. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Clean sheets. We haven't really had that many clean sheets, to be honest. Uh, Butland's got four, but none with us, I believe. Mansa has got seven, so it puts him fifth. I'm quite happy with that. But Larice with 11, that's pretty damn impressive, to be honest. We haven't really had that many uh, yellow cards, to be honest. So I don't expect any of our boys to be there. They're not. Red cards? Whoa, Skirtle, you naughty boy. I don't think we've had it. Yes, we have. Out there. He's been our only one, so I don't expect him to be in that table. And he's not which is good, good, good news. So next game is going to be against Newcastle. A whole host of clubs. Aston Villa, Everton, Liverpool, did that say are interested in him? Let's have a quick look at what he's got to gob off about. Um, don't feel he can't select me. Okay. <laughs> I'll select you if I want. I'll select you if I won't. It's entirely up to me, you bastard. You want to move? Oh, it's frustrating. Anyway, till next time, hopefully we'll have some better gameplay. Hopefully we'll pick up some more points. And hopefully it'll be a little bit more enjoyable. But still, I hope that you're still enjoying the series. And hopefully you'll hang in there, finish this season, and uh, obviously watch next season. Anyway, till next time, I will catch you later. Hate it, I love it, I'm on the way to the summit. And all the haters are waiting to see the day that I plummet. They better stay in their place because the paper is coming. And when I make it, their bank is getting the payment of nothing. Now I'm destined to make it big. I think by now I made that evident. But I'm grinding till they know Calvin Coolidge is the rapper and not the president.